Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're diving into a topic that's becoming more relevant than ever in our digital age transitioning from online connections to real-life meetings. Whether you've met through dating apps, social media, or online communities, taking that next step to meet face-to-face -face can be both exciting and nerve-wracking. In this video, we'll be sharing some valuable tips to ensure that your in-person encounters are not only smooth but also enjoyable and meaningful. So if you're ready to turn those online connections into offline friendships or even something more, stay tuned for some expert advice and insights. Let's get started. Staying safe tips for meeting in person after online connections. Introduction, the importance of safety when meeting online connections. In today's digital age, the landscape of social interactions has drastically evolved. With the rise of dating apps, social media platforms, and professional networks, meeting new people online has become commonplace. These platforms provide unprecedented opportunities to connect with others, whether for romance, friendship, or career advancement. However, as these virtual interactions transition to in-person meetings, the importance of safety cannot be overstated. The convenience and accessibility of online connections come with their own set of risks. The anonymity of the internet can often mask true identities and intentions, making it crucial to approach such meetings with a sense of caution and preparedness. Ensuring personal safety should always be a top priority when deciding to meet someone face-to-face -face after an online introduction. One dot research and verify ensuring authenticity. In addition to social media checks, conducting a quick online search can provide further insights. A simple search of the person's name, combined with relevant keywords like their workplace or city, can yield valuable information. Look for any professional or personal websites, news articles, or other online mentions that can help confirm their identity. This step can also reveal any potential red flags such as negative press or involvement in dubious activities. 2. Choose a safe location public and familiar places. When transitioning from online interactions to face-to-face-to-face -to -face -to -face meetings, the choice of location is paramount for ensuring safety. Opting for public places such as cafes, parks, or shopping centers is highly recommended. These environments not only provide the necessary social atmosphere but also make it difficult for any untoward incident to occur unnoticed. The presence of other people acts as a natural deterrent to potential risks offering an added layer of security for both parties involved in the meeting. Additionally, consider the time of day when planning your meeting. Daylight hours are generally safer as they naturally discourage suspicious activity and ensure that public places are more populated. Evening or night meetings, while sometimes unavoidable, should be approached with increased caution and preferably accompanied by additional safety measures such as informing a friend or family member about the meeting details. 3. Inform a friend or family member keeping others in the loop. Meeting someone in person after establishing an online connection can be an exciting yet cautious endeavor. One of the most crucial steps in ensuring your safety is to inform a trusted friend or family member about your plans. This precaution not only increases your personal security but also offers peace of mind to your loved ones. Start by sharing essential details of your meeting with your confidant. This includes the location, time, and relevant information about the person you're meeting. Providing your friend or family member with a comprehensive overview helps them understand the context and anticipate any potential issues. Specify the exact address if possible, and if you're meeting in a public place, mention the name of the establishment. 4. Dot transportation independent and secure travel plans. When planning to meet someone in person after connecting online, it is crucial to prioritize independent and secure travel arrangements. By ensuring you have your own means of transportation to and from the meeting location, you retain control over your schedule and personal safety. Opting for public transport, ride-sharing services, or driving yourself are effective strategies to maintain this independence. Using public transport can be a safe and economical option. Buses, trains, and subways typically have established routes and schedules, allowing you to plan your trip in advance. Moreover, the presence of other passengers and staff can provide an additional layer of security. Be sure to familiarize yourself with the timetable and route, and keep emergency contact numbers handy. 5. Trust your instincts, listening to your gut feelings. When transitioning from online conversations to in-person meetings, it is crucial to listen to your gut feelings. Trusting your instincts can significantly contribute to your safety and overall comfort. Often, our subconscious picks up on subtle cues that may not be immediately obvious, leading to feelings of discomfort or unease. These instincts are a vital part of our self-protection mechanism, 
and should not be ignored. If, during the meeting, you experience any signs of discomfort or feel that something is not right, it is important to recognize these feelings and act accordingly. This might manifest as a sudden sense of anxiety, a feeling of being watched, or an inexplicable urge to leave. Pay attention to these signals, as they are your body's way of alerting you to potential danger. One effective strategy to prepare for such situations is to have a pre-planned exit strategy. Before your meeting, inform a trusted friend or family member about your plans, including the location and expected duration of the meeting. Arrange a check-in time with them, and have a code word that can signal you need assistance without alarming the person you are with. This provides an additional layer of security and gives you a reliable way to exit the situation if needed. 6. Limit personal information protecting your privacy. When transitioning from online connections to in-person meetings, safeguarding your personal information is paramount. In the initial stages of getting to know someone, it is crucial to limit the amount of personal information you disclose. Avoid sharing sensitive details such as your home address, workplace, or financial information. This practice helps protect you from potential risks that could arise from sharing too much too soon. One effective strategy to maintain your privacy is to keep initial meetings in public places. Meeting in a neutral, populated location not only ensures your safety, but also prevents the other party from learning too much about your personal life prematurely. Additionally, avoid using your full name or providing specific details that could easily be traced back to you until trust has been established. 7. Post dash meeting, follow up reflecting on the experience. After meeting someone in person following an online connection, it is crucial to take some time to reflect on the experience. This reflection not only helps you process the encounter but also ensures that your personal safety and comfort were maintained throughout. Start by asking yourself a few key questions. Did you feel safe during the meeting? Were there any moments that made you uncomfortable? How did the individual respect your boundaries and personal space? If you felt uneasy at any point, it is essential to acknowledge those feelings and consider their implications for future interactions. Trust your instincts as they are often a reliable indicator of your well-being. Additionally, it can be highly beneficial to discuss the meeting with a trusted friend or family member. Sharing your experience with someone you trust can provide valuable perspective and help you evaluate the situation more objectively. They might notice red flags or positive signs that you missed during the meeting. Based on your reflection and the feedback from your confidants, you can make an informed decision about how to proceed with future interactions. If the meeting was positive and you felt comfortable, you might consider planning subsequent get-togethers. However, if there were any doubts or concerns, it may be wise to reconsider or set stricter boundaries for future meetings. Remember, your safety and comfort should always be the top priority. As we wrap up this video, remember that staying safe is paramount when transitioning from online connections to real-life meetings. By following the tips and strategies we've discussed, you're not only safeguarding yourself but also enhancing the quality of your offline interactions. Whether you're meeting friends, potential partners, or professional contacts, trust your instincts, communicate openly, and prioritize your well-being. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, stay safe, stay empowered, and keep forging genuine connections both online and offline. Take care.